That is, we learn this in Bible school too, Matthew 6. It says, go into your secret closet, shut the door behind you when you get ready to pray. Specifically, it says. Mm -hmm. And it says that the God who is invisible or the God who is in secret will reward you openly. Did you ask that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go into your secret prayer room, closet chambers. Mm -hmm. Shut the door behind you. I'm answering your question. And the divine who is in the invisible and the unseen hangs out there. Mm -hmm. Do your rituals in the darkness. <laughs> and guess what's going to happen? What? You ain't going to stay in the dark and quiet and secret mm -hmm. moment because it says it's going to reward you what? Open. In a time where we're made to believe that a certain type of fame and fortune is the only thing to live for. Let me tell you. Go dark. Go dark. Go dark. Go dark. Go quiet. Go spiritual. And guess what? It won't stay that way long. Be willing to be quiet long enough. Be willing to do the right thing in secret long enough. And just like when you drop the seed into the ground, Brother Rich, mm -hmm. and the blackness, when you drop the seed into the blackness, into the womb of the ground, it's invisible to you at that point, right? Mm -hmm. That's the spiritual realm once the seed is dropped. You know how people say the, 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 the seed in the apple is the apple? I don't believe that. I don't believe any seed is the actual fruit or vegetable. I believe that the seed is the instructions. So when you drop the seed of the apple into the ground, it's giving the earth instructions on what to make. So when you drop that thing into the ground, your prayers is the seed. You get it? Your meditations, your affirmations, your rituals, your mantras, whatever your spiritual ritual is, your five times a day prayer if you're Muslim, you know what I'm saying? Your rosary beads if you're Catholic, I'd like to be. If you're Vedic, come on now. Your mantras and everything else that you do. Or if you're just doing your affirmations or whatever it is that you do. The thing that you do in secret, it says close the door. It says the way the spirit realm works is to first hush. Mm -hmm. to, go, to, go, to go occult is to go quiet mm -hmm. and as one of the ancient elders taught us the word occult you can see ocular, oc, things that relate to the eyes and the word occult right mm -hmm. but you also can, can see the connection with the word culture mm -hmm. the occult is about a hidden culture an unseen world of reality that's the one that you've got to get acquainted with and that's going to take a little bit of discipline mm -hmm. And reverse engineering for you to deal with. You got to be, there's gonna be an itch for you to get out there first, be seen first, be honored first, but that's not how it works. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So I'm saying you train yourself, you see, uh -huh. to do the opposite. And when you do the right thing long enough, you put your spiritual body in a way that you put your muscles, what is it called? Muscle memory, yes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's some things that you start to do automatically when you do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Long enough, you understand? You're on it. You're on it, Vicky. You're on it.